With me are Peter Whittle, who is the UKIP London Assembly member. First of all, I would say that this is about the third, fourth time that our obituaries are, are being written, you know, and I've been on shows like this uh, going way back over two years. I think there's a massive point, not just because of uh, Brexit, that is obviously a, a huge thing, um, but Catherine will know as a political researcher that what we've done as well is created something called the UKIP voter. The UKIP voter sticks with us through thick and thin. And I think there are a whole host of issues that are going to be coming up between now and the general election in 2012, uh, 2020, uh, which basically UKIP will... Such as? Well, I think such very fundamental things such as um, our, uh, the supremacy of our legal system, um, our values such as free speech, and immigration will continue to be an issue, all of these things. And I think that there are enough people now in the, in the, in the country, particularly in the Midlands and the North, who just feel that the Labour Party certainly doesn't speak for them and they don't trust the Tories quite rightly. And they are the people that we need and we need to speak for them. Uh, Theresa May's got a record of making really quite strong speeches that could be heard at our conference. And that was obviously what this was about. But people don't necessarily trust them. People will not trust them. They're quite right to. I mean, we're hearing all the good things, but will they deliver? But, I don't think so. I mean, there are even people like uh, Stephen Wolf who, who clearly mm. has considered as to whether now Theresa May's Conservative Party might be a way of carrying forward the sort of things he's been campaigning for. Well, that's Stephen's decision, you know. But, I mean, look, I would say, I would make this point. Look, for a party that is supposedly finished, there are a huge number of people, which I'm one, who want to actually be leader of it. Now, that's a sign, actually, of health you know um, there's no question about it and in fact okay we've taken a slide in the polls most recently today and that's almost inevitable we've been here before but basically we tend to be around 14 points in the polls that does not change well, you have, you have tended to but we've seen you know we've seen the liberal democrats come and go to a certain extent um who are you aiming for though now are you still aiming for conservatives uh, who in a sense have yeah. got what they want on brexit or are you aiming for those Labour voters. It seems that there's a lot of disagreement in the party. No, there's not really. Uh, not disagreement, Adam, with respect on that. I think it's without question. You know, Brexit was won by people who were either Labour voters in the Midlands and the North, particularly, or indeed people who've never voted or hadn't voted for 20 years. And the fact is, is that that is obviously where our future lies with UKIP in that sense. Uh, we, we have to we have a duty to speak for those people. And I think that that is one of the most important shifts that we've seen in our party, actually. The idea that we were a party of the shires and of a retired colonel, that's gone, that went ages ago. And I think that there is, particularly with the implosion which we're seeing of the Labour Party, you know, there is a huge gap opening up in British politics and we have to grasp that opportunity. Hey, yes, it is incredibly un unfair. Four million votes to get one MP when you look at the Scots Nats. Mm. Of course that is, but that system, we realise, is not going to change. You know, there's no point in fighting that argument. It's not going to change. So how are you going to get MPs? The same way that basically uh, the Labour Party, 100 years ago, um, replaced the Liberal Party. You know, that is what we will do. We will put our emphasis... So you're going to emphasis... replace Labour or you're going to replace the Conservatives? No, replace the <laughs> Labour Party. We should be the official opposition. We are looking forward now to 2020 and we're looking to get a number of seats in 2020 as a way of building. It's happened before in politics and it will happen this time.